How creepy is this? <laughs> Hello, young lady. What's your name? My name is Marion. Marion, where are you from, Marion? I'm from Germany. Germany? Yes. I'll do this again. Sorry. <laughs> hey, hey! You don't know if she's one of the good ones. <laughs> oh, you are? All right. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's... <laughs> Sorry, I'll do it again. So, Marion, you're from Germany. Yes. <laughs> The, uh, it's a joke, it's a joke, I'm kidding, I'm, this is a joke. I know. What are you doing in L.A.? Vacationing. Really? Vacation? How lovely. What part of Germany are you from? Uh, West Germany. Oh, West Germany? Yes. Which part of Germany? You know, which town, I mean? Dortmund. Dortmund? That's my favourite mund. <laughs> what is Dortmund famous for? Ch chocolates? Soccer. Soccer? German champion. German champions of yes, soccer? Currently. Well, Americans really care about that, Marion. <laughs> Man, I felt the rating spike right there when you said that. I'm sorry. Well, wait, I got German soccer champion talk on TV. <laughs> Let's keep watching. <laughs> <laughs> so how's your vacation going? You having a nice time? Yes. People being nice to you? Yes. Very. Really? I got on TV. You got into here? Yes. No, oh, it's free to get in here. <laughs> Did anyone charge you money? Are they no, scalping no. tickets? <laughs> what else have you seen? Have you seen the Hollywood sign? Not yet, just got in. It's vi you just arrived? <laughs> yes. Straight from um, Highway 1 to you. Oh. Oh. <laughs> highway 1 goes all the way to Dortmund now? Oh, no. From San Francisco. Oh, for, you were in San Francisco? Yes. Oh, it's nice up there, isn't it? With a friend. Oh, with your friend? Is that yes. your friend over there? Yes. Hello, friend! <laughs> Are you also from Germany? No. <laughs> Are you American? Yes. Good for you! <laughs> How did you guys meet? On the internet? Yes. Oh, that's lovely. Common interests. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Do you know? Neither judge nor innuendoize these <laughs> things. That's my job. Well, that's good. <laughs> Ever met not a real horse? Um, not yet. I wanted oh, to. Look, look there. Oh, hi, secretary. Look, yeah, yeah. Oh, hi. Hello. <laughs> Hang on, the back fell over. You all right? Well, good news. We're sending you and your friend to... Maestro's Steakhouse of Beverly Hills. The what Steakhouse of Beverly Hills? Ma Maestro's. 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 This is the greatest steakhouse in the world. We'll be right back. We're going to horse and stuff. Everybody, we'll be right back. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. quite naturally as if it were real. Sit down, relax, and uh, no more of this phony crap. We've got a lot of rubbish to get through tonight. A particularly disappointing show ahead, I think. Very, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, Very pretty, good. pretty bad. This is one you're going to need a little blue pill for, if you know what I mean. <laughs> See what I did there? I suggested yeah. I suggested erectile dysfunction by going. Is that is that the suggestion of? Erectile yeah, yeah, yeah. If, ladies, if a gentleman comes up to you and goes like that, 
<laughs> what he's trying to say is, nothing's happening! <laughs> Which means pirates, I think, suffer right, from erectile right. dysfunction. Yeah. Yeah. Arr, that's right, I can't get an erection. <laughs> Arr, I've been sailing the seven seas. And me master's limp. The best I can do is touch your booty. Yeah. Arr. And even if I touch your booty, it'll have no physical effect on me. Genitals wise. <laughs> genitals wise, yeah. That's, uh, you know, as my mother used to say that, pound funny, foolish gen genitals wise. <laughs> Gen genitals wise. Yeah, pound foolish genitals wise. Yeah, I know. That, you ever heard yeah. that expression no, before? Of course, of course. Yeah, pound foolish genitals. It's a great day for America, everyone! <laughs>
like when I say the horse is putting on weight and the horse goes like that and like gets all in my grill because I know how I know how to talk. <laughs> And then the audience was like, oh, there's going to be a rumble. There's not going to be a rumble. <laughs> or is there? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on. Does, it, does that horse have shoulders? What the hell is going on? I think, I think they're... <laughs> yeah, he does. Oh, man. Have you, have you got shoulders? Have you been working out? <laughs> All right. That's what makes it look like you're putting on weight. You're not putting on weight, you're bulking up. <laughs> All right, right. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done here. Yeah. yeah, I think I've done my white guy standing up. Now I'm going to throw at commercials. Then I'll be white guy sitting over there. Right. And I'll do some other stuff over there. You know, I'll talk and, you know. Some jokes, some shit. Jokes, a uh, guest will come out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never seen anything like it in my damn life. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. even muster up fake enthusiasm the hell, there. I'm very excited for uh, Mary and the German girl to go to that steakhouse. Do you enjoy steak? Oh, I love a good steak. <laughs> Nothing like a nice juicy piece of beef. A piece of meat, yeah. Be oh, did you say beef or meat? I said beef, but... Uh... Is that, is that code? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's not particularly uh, hard to decipher that no, code, is it? No, not at all. I when we talk uh, like pirates who have uh, erectile dysfunction. Oh, let's do that. All right, then. Arr, I'm so feeling like I've disappointed my wife once too often. Oh, what seems to be the problem? Well, Sweetie. the thing is this. I come home after a hard day pillaging, and I just don't have anything left. Ah, no more pig leg for you, eh? That's right. <laughs> Why? It's all I can do to keep the cockatoo in me shoulder. Did you, did you say a cockatoo on your shoulder? Let's just say I did say that. <laughs> Arr. Well, that was a pleasant interlude for really me. Did you enjoy that? Thank you. Yeah, all right. What time is it, Jeffrey Peterson? It's treat mail time, brought to you by Genitals Wise Undergarments, the intelligent way to protect your junk. Oh, lovely. Let's play a jingle. Here come the play. So don't despair. Use your fingers, use your toes, use your boobies. I've got those. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Emails and tweets. Hey, you know what? I was just thinking. I'm just thinking. Hey, uh, you know how Marion, the, the German girl, is from Germany? Yeah, yeah. You know what? I forgot, of course. One of our favorite bands is from Germany. Oh, yeah, that's... Kraft right. Kraftwerk. Kraftwerk. Yeah. Farn, farn, farn of der Autobahn. I'm the operator with my pocket calculator. <laughs> she's a model and she's looking good. We are the robots. Do, 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 do. <laughs> You probably wish you'd stayed in Germany now, don't you? <laughs> I, uh, yeah, all right. Uh, this is from uh, Nancy in Mesa, Arizona. You ever been there? Beautiful place. Oh, I tell you, you know what they've got there? They've got that Mesa right there. Yeah, they got it. You know, right that, you know what a Mesa is? A Mesa or a Mesa? Mesa. Uh, it's a Mesa. Mesa. Well, yeah. I say Mesa because I'm not originally from here. Yeah, that's fine. You know, in Scotland, we say Mesa. <laughs> very, very it's, self, it's a self centered Mesa, a Mesa. <laughs> Well, they can't all be gold, I guess. Uh, like, um, it's a Dear Craig and Jeff, who's your all-time favorite comedian? Oh, easy for me, Carl Reiner. What about you? Oh, I love that Carl yeah, Reiner. He's Carl Reiner. <laughs> Carl Reiner is the greatest comic genius that America has ever produced. That is absolutely true. Who's the first guest tonight? Carl Reiner. That's good. That's... That, that, 
It, it would have been really Crikey. awkward if it was Mel Brooks right yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is from Andy in Mesquite, Nevada. You ever been there? Beautiful. You know what I love about Mesquite? Isn't that the, what gets your barbecue to taste like um, lovely? Oh, yeah. 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 Very, very fragrant. You know where they get the mesquite-fired grilled chicken uh, crumpets? Oh, you had those. Those are good. Uh, hey, Craig, how do you know for sure when a girl is not the one? Is this, is this a Highlander reference? I think it's yeah, the Highlander. Like, like uh, during the gathering, you, you, everyone gets together and everyone tries to chop everyone's head off, and then it's uh, Christopher... What? Lambert? Right? Christophe Lambert, yeah. yeah. The, the, the guy from Belgium that played a Scotsman. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Yes, I'm so Scottish. <laughs> Can't wait to get some more aggies. <laughs> this is, uh, I don't know, how do you know when a girl's not the one? Uh, I guess if, if you feel like a pirate. <laughs> Too early on in the relationship. <laughs> Jeff, help the folks at home read my thoughts, will you? I'm having trouble getting up me mast again there. Ooh, there's a nice wind blowing in. That should help a bit. Just thinking, it maybe. Yeah, no, we can see it. All right, uh, the hell? Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, Please, uh, cease your applause, even although it's completely real. We have five left to go and only 25 seconds, so we'll have to get go. What do we have to do, Jeff? Quickly, there's quickly, no time. Read the quickly, tweets, uh, quickly. Marvin, Fort Worth, Texas, said, Dear Craig and Jeff, did you know when a horse gains extra weight, it's called a hay, a hay belly? Uh, you know, hay belly. <laughs> All right, this is from Allison in North Plate uh, in Nebraska. Uh, you like Nebraska? Beautiful place. Okay. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, if you could travel back in time and change one thing, what would it be? Uh, this email, I, I wish I hadn't read it. <laughs> And finally, this is from Steve in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, that's, uh, you like it there? Oh, love, love it. You definitely. like it down there, don't you? Yeah, I love it down there. You like it right down there. Right down there. <laughs> what about Australia? Do you like Australia? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, dear Craig, I don't get the fascination Americans have with peanut butter. Can you help? I don't think we're fascinated with it. I think we just enjoy it. You're like, what, crikey, you Americans, you're fascinated with peanut butter. No, we just like it occasionally. Well, not, it's not like the kangaroo to us or anything. It's not like we don't, we don't, we, we don't have them... Li we do have a lot of peanut butter lying around, yeah. actually, now when I think about it. Quite, quite a surplus. Quite yeah. a surplus. I have a, I have a peanut allergy. Is that right? No, it's not. It's a lie. Yeah. I've learned so much here tonight. Yeah, I know. I think we should take a quiet moment. I think my pirate problem just cleared right up. <laughs> my first guest tonight is an icon, a legend, an American treasure. His latest book, I Remember Me, is available now. Please welcome the glory that is Carl Reiner, everybody.
goodness, it is good to see you. Finally, some class in this dump. <laughs> it is good to see you. There's your class. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, that. listen, Carl, I've been, I've been reading the book. I actually, because you're you, I actually have been reading the book. Oh. A lot of people come on with books, I'm like, yeah, it was great. I know. <laughs> but I have been, this is fascinating. It's really, it's very uh, touching. It's very touching. I, 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 it's funny, but it's very touching. Well, if your life has been a real life, there are moments in it where you get really touched. And... <laughs> And it's those moments <laughs> you either smile yeah. or cry. Yeah. I'm looking for the bits that you got touched in. Uh. <laughs> There's uh, 65 years with the right woman. That, yeah, that, that is it, it, fascinating. <laughs> it is fascinating. That is... Uh, that is a funny thing, and of course, uh, you know, your late, your late wife, Estelle, the, uh, gave one of the greatest uh, lines in the history of motion pictures, right? That yeah. was well, she was, uh, she, uh, Estelle Reiner had the ability to say funny things, very short sentences. As a matter of fact, Robbie, when he was doing, when Harry met Sally, he called his mother, he says, Ma, there's a line in the picture I want you to do. We'll fly you in New York. She said, there must be a hundred actresses in New York can do that. He said, but nobody can do it like you, mother. She flew to New York, she sat in the delicatessen, she said, I'll have what she's having after listening to somebody yeah. take an orgasm. Great, great job. Well, the, in the interesting thing is, the interesting thing is that it became an icon. One, there was a list of the 10 greatest lines ever said in motion pictures, narrowed down to five by the AFI, and they were, frankly, madam, I don't give a damn, yeah. Clark Gable, Make My Day. Uh, Clint Eastwood. Clint Eastwood. Uh, uh, what did uh, Marlon Brando say? Uh, uh, I, I, I make him an offer he can't refuse. I make him an offer he yeah, can't yeah, refuse. Yeah, yeah. And Humphrey Bogart saying, this could be the start of something big. So I, I, <laughs> This I, could be the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Beautiful friendship. Said. <laughs> <laughs> Look how he knows. No, no, I'm just saying, this could be the start of something big is what you yeah. should have said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I... But Estelle Reiner's number four, and I was able to title the chapter one ahead, Estelle Reiner, one ahead of Humphrey Bogart. Yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. But by the way, I, I just want to... There's one, there's one thing in the book I must say. At Estelle Reiner, when my daughter was 16, just going on 16, Robbie, her brother, was 18, and we're saying what to get for her birthday. And Robbie said, why don't you get a nose job like the rest of the girls in Beverly Hills? Make a little upturned noses. I said, wait a minute, wait a minute. Her, her mother has a larger nose than Annie, and look at the handsome guy she got. Yeah. <laughs> and Estelle said, it's not the size of your nose that counts, it's what's in it. <laughs> and, and I was doing... <laughs> you'll figure... You'll, and I was doing the jerk at the time, and I went and told Steve Martin about it, and he laughed. Ten years later, he calls, and he's, can I talk to Estelle? And she said, what is it, Steve? And he says, you said a line once, can I use it in a movie? He was doing Roxanne, and there's oh, Cyrano, yeah. Cyrano de Bergerac says, not the size of your nose that counts, <laughs> it's what's in it. <laughs> So that's, that's, that's the stuff. You know, of course, I, I think I've talked to you about this before. You have made possibly my favorite movie of all time, The Man with Two Brains, which oh. I think is, is a yeah. fantastic movie. That was a fantastic movie. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, I mean, it's very... It's a very, uh, it, it, it's an homage, it's an homage to, yes. to the kind of the 50s science fiction it was schlock a, things, right? It was the, my favorite work that I've ever done because for nine, for six months, all we did was look at film noir, the black and white motion pictures, and say, there's a line we can use, there's a line we can use. We put together like a crossword puzzle, this line, and we got his name. Somebody called... Uh, Charles Lawton said, Mr. Rigby. I said, we'll call him Rigby. That'll be his first name. Another place called somebody Reardon. And another guy with black hair. I said, Rigby Reardon. That's his name. We got his name from, pasted it all together. I don't know if this is legal, what you're telling me now. <laughs> it is legal. We paid, we paid $10,000 for every minute of the film that we used. That, really? That, yes. Uh, it's a fan it's yeah. fantastic movie, and of course it was kind of duplicated later on with, uh, you know, stuff like Forrest Gump and stuff yes, like that. Yes, they did yes. the same kind of a thing. I'm not going to let you do this to me. What? I've got to talk about my book. Yeah, we're talking <laughs> about your book. 
all right, all right. I'm talking about your book. All right. Let's see if there's a, sh a chapter no, where I you get do touched. A, I want no, to do, I want to do a scene with you from the book. A scene? Oh, Albert Brooks. Albert Brooks. I talk about Albert Brooks in the book. That's 29. That's chapter 29. You know how I know that? Because Albert Brooks did a blurb at the back, and he said, great stories from the great Carl Reiner. I like chapter 29 the best. Oh. So I figure. <laughs> okay. I figure that's Albert's chapter, Albert, right? Albert Brooks was 16 years old, very dear friend, my friend Rob. Rob and Albert was Reiner and Brooks, two other guys. And uh, uh, Robbie said, you know, Albert is the greatest uh, uh, escape artist, like Houdini in the world. He says, he's going to do a trick for you now, and, and this is the trick, and I'd like to do it with you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Let's do it. All okay. right. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey, he hasn't done it yet. It might not be any good. <laughs> Okay, Albert said, now, I, I, uh, this is Albert, and this is you, me. Well, I, I'm you? You're Albert. And, oh, I'm Albert. And, and I, I don't said, know the trick, though. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I, he says, no, I'm Albert. He says, tie me up. Tie me up. All right, I That's tell you. good enough. <laughs> That's good enough. He says, now, he says, I'm going to get behind those curtains. He says, and I'm going to get untied in 15 seconds. And do not help me if I scream for help. Now he says, do you have any Kleenex, by the way? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, no, I don't. I got yeah. some sugar. No, no, okay. Uh, Wait. No, I, don't I, have, have a, I have a piece of Kleenex. Oh, right, okay, good. Yeah, okay. He says, stuff some Kleenex in my nose. And so I stuffed a piece of Kleenex in his nose like this. And, and, and he had... And, and he said, he says, okay, I can't breathe. He's got a mouth he can breathe. He said, I can't breathe, and I'm stuck. I'll get behind the curtain. He went behind the curtain, and for 15 minutes, my drapes in my living room, he thrashed and thrashed, and he screamed, don't help me, don't help me, I'll get out, I'll get out. I was laughing so hard I thought I would damage myself. I went into the kitchen. I was afraid to look. He was still thrashing. He finally fell to his, fell to the ground on the floor. He's like, he says, help, help me, I, I forget, help me. He says, he says, untie me. Oh, 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 oh. He says, take, take, take the teeth out of my nose. <laughs> now I can breathe. 15 minutes of raucous laughter, the 16-year-old kid, he turned out to be as funny as, uh, as a, an adult as he was. <laughs> you know what? Did you see, did you see that uh, Albert in that movie, Drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, he was terrifying, wasn't he? He, 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 he stabbed a guy in the eye with a fork. With the fork, God. He wouldn't do it in real life. I don't know. He would, you, I don't know. He looks tough. Uh, he would come with you with a spoon, but he wouldn't hurt no. you. No. You know, there's one. I talked about my son, Rob and Annie. I want to tell this one story because okay. it's endearing. Uh, Rob was uh, 12 years old. Annie was about 9, or 10 and 12. And Estelle, who was in menopause, became pregnant. And we decided to tell the children... About I, I hate to interrupt you, but she clearly wasn't in menopause. Yes. <laughs> in other words, there was just one egg, and there we was, got we There got was it. one, one and, left and, in and the store. The best thing that ever happened to us was this guy turned out to be Lucas Ryan, one of the great human beings I know. He's just the nicest human being I know, among other the other two. Anyway, so so anyway, so I know what you're saying. I got kids too. You got to cover <laughs> anyway, the whole thing. Yeah. So. We, we said we're going to tell the kids. Uh, we're, this, we're sitting at the breakfast table. They're sitting in chairs, and we said, we have something to tell you. And they said, uh, would you, they said well, it's a surprise. And they said, would you like to play 20 questions? And they said, yes, yes. And now both of them had something they wanted. Robbie wanted a pool table so bad. He saw the, the, the Paul Newman picture. He wanted to be a pool player. His friend had a pool table. His friend's father bought him a pool table. And he had a friend who, uh, father bought her a pony. She said, can I get a pony? She was always saying, we have no room for a pony in this here. pool table. Anyway, they, that's what's within their head when they're asking the question. Is it something we'll like? Yes, something you'll like. Will it be uh, able to be in the house? Yes, it'll be in the house. <laughs> will our friends like it? Yes, our friends will like it. Uh, and will, will, I, will I be able to, uh, to play with it every day? Yes, you can play with it every day. <laughs> anyway, went through 20 questions, and finally they said, what is it? And they said, uh, they know what it is, they know what it is. And Annie said, 
it's a pony, it's a pony. And Robbie said, no, no, it's a pool table, it's a pool <laughs> table. And we said, it's a new baby brother or sister. And they fell off their chairs. <laughs> they slipped off their chairs, and they, without looking at each other, they started to laugh hysterically. <laughs> we had no idea what they're laughing at. They were laughing, they, they were pounding and pounding. And what came out finally? A, a pool table. Mama's gonna have a pool table. <laughs> no, 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 Mama's gonna have a pony. That's <laughs> Carl Ryder, I remember me. We'll be right back. Okay, we'll be right back. Tonight stars in Veep, which the new season premieres this Sunday on HBO. Take a look at that. <laughs> Anna Klumski, everybody. Anna Sensational, if I may say so. Well, thank you very yeah. much. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Uh, you look, you look very well. Yeah, I, uh, I look like I got knocked up. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You got a little bit knocked up. <laughs> yeah. Thank goodness, because if you just go on weight, I'd be really <laughs> awkward. I do, yeah. I do. No, I know. no, you, you, uh, you, uh, you, how uh, much time? <laughs> I'm six months. Six months. Six months. That's <laughs> th so that. Wait, wait. <laughs> Well, you weren't going to applaud if it was five months, was that? Ah, uh, it's only five months. No, she doesn't deserve it yet. I once heard Ann Mira say, cats have kittens every day, so, yeah. Well, no, it's a little more than... Is this your first? Yes. yes. Uh, do pe are people coming up and touching your uh, tummy? Yeah, I... I it's outrageous, that, isn't I it? I don't mind it too much right oh, now. Oh, okay. It's well, it's just friends. It's not... I haven't had the stranger one yet. Like, no strangers have come up to me and done So that. if I did it, that would... I would be your first... Uh, you're, 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 no, you're, no, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm always kind of amazed when my wife was pregnant with a baby and then people come up and would touch her yeah. Like, what are you doing? Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's bizarre. I, I, yeah, it's like there's a shield or something. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Do you do you know what you're having? Uh, I do. I are do. you keeping it? Uh, it's, it's yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's one or the other, obviously. It's 50, yeah. 50, yeah, right. Yeah, and six months, you're kind of like right there, so it shouldn't be too uncomfortable right now, right? It's as not I bad. You know, it's not bad right now, and uh, and I don't know. I'm uh, eventually. I, I'm sure it'll get. Oh, eventually it lot, gets very uncomfortable indeed. Uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> From what I've, I've yeah. been at two uh, births okay. uh, of humans. Of, I've your, been, of uh, your own, I'm, I'm assuming. <laughs> that was... Oh yeah, and my own too. Yeah. yeah so, uh, so that's uh, another two. So uh, <laughs> no, uh, it's uh, it's it's quite a it's quite a sight. Oh my god! I saw. Yeah. I I was actually there for my brother's birth, and uh, when Where? I. Yeah, I was 14, and well, he's my half brother, so he's much younger than me. But um, but yeah, I saw I, I saw him come into the world. Well, it's quite a sight it's to see. Yeah, it's, it's it's amazing. When I saw, it, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. It, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Everything no. becomes science. Yeah. Every, yeah. It's all it's, science. From it's there. It's science and a little bit of modern art going on <laughs> in there as well. That's <laughs> like, yeah. Absolutely. But that's good that you know what you're getting into and, and fine. And you feel well and everything's great. Everything's and that, that's great. good. And how's Not the beef? Julia Louis Dreyfus was here She's last here, night. Yes. Last night. You behaved yourself, I'm assuming. Not really. No, yeah. no. Uh, <laughs> no, she's, uh, she's a very nice woman. She's amazing. Yeah. I, I'm in love. She really? Well, it, 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 no, no, that's that's a news story right there. <laughs> Only if you want to make it a news story. No, well, we, we all love each no, other. No, I really. You're, is, is that true? Because you hear actors say that all the time. Everybody loves each other. We, I'm like, no, you don't. We really, really, we we really like each other a lot. She's a very nice person, she's though. I amazing. think she's, she's got kids. Has she given you any tips? Yeah, she's given me plenty, and she's uh, and she's uh, all the support in the world. She's just fantastic. Mm. I, that's yeah, very disappointing. Not enough dirt there. Let's yeah, go somewhere sorry. else. No, yeah, let's let's no. let's find dirt elsewhere. No. So, and your uh, your uh, the husband, uh, he's uh, he's all right with it. Is it his first too? It's his first yeah. as well. Yep, yep. Yeah. We're we're going into this together. So. Yeah, you better get some sleep now. That would be my guess. That's what I, that's what we've been hearing. Oh my God. I know. Oh. <laughs>
my God. Like, my youngest is two years old now. Oh, wow. And I'm like, Ugh. So you're still not sleeping? No. No. No, no, no. No. And then it's question Sometimes time. I nod off during the monologue. I don't know oh. if you've seen it. That's well, a, better you than the audience, I suppose. Oh, no, they do too, but I don't mind that at all. Who cares? We're all in it together, right? <laughs> exactly. Think. We're all in it together. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago. Right? Are you going to go back to Chicago and have the baby there? No, I'm going to have it in New York. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I live in New York, so that's, that's... No, but don't you have to, like, when they had the baby Jesus, they had to go back to the land of... Uh... <laughs> this is not the Immaculate Conception, all I right, promise okay. you. <laughs> 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 I see. He, yeah. He had so you're going to have the baby. Well, that's nice. New York, where you live. That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, very nice. So the baby will be a New Yorker. Tutsi frutsi. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> cut out. It's fine. No, we'll it's cut it out. We'll, we'll cut it out. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. It's fine. We have no idea the gender of your child. <laughs> No, I think it's well, awesome. Well, congratulations right. anyway. That's Thank lovely. You. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. That's really but lovely. Yeah, we'll have a little New Yorker. It's fun. I mean, I think that'll be good. Yeah, I don't know. New Yorkers could be a little, uh, they've got a little attitude problem well, sometimes. Well, maybe, uh, maybe if I act like I don't know something, then at least somebody can teach me. That's the idea. Well, yeah, right. I guess. Tootsie Fruits. Be born knowing exactly knowing which everything. bus to take uptown and down to Crockett. Better. Yeah, no. Better. Yeah. So, if you live, where do you shoot the show? In New York? In Baltimore. Baltimore? Mm hmm Yeah, because it's close to DC. Right. And uh, and the, the city is very kind to, to our industry right now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, did you ever watch The Wire? That was yes. set in Baltimore. Wow, a lot of our crew was on The Wire. Oh, what a show that Amazing. was. Amazing. That is maybe the best TV I've ever seen. It's 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 just so it's so honest and Easy the good. acting is fantastic. The writing is You know yeah. David Simon the the wrote it, he was here. A lot of the other the writers have been on it have yeah. been here. Yeah, it's fantastic. And the guy who played Omar, what's his name again? Oh, I love him. Oh, it's oh, fantastic. Um, um Mike Michael K. Michael Williams. K. Williams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's he, he, he lives in Brooklyn. Does he? Yeah, I, th I think. Uh, Is he going to yeah. be there when your baby's born? Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With the shotgun. So you guys, no, no, no. Well, that's lovely. Well, good luck then. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we're out of time. Uh, is there anything you want to do? Not have a baby, obviously. No, uh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah. Are you, can you fly all right? It's seven months, I think. That's the yeah. They say that it's uh, yeah. They say it's like the, up till uh, the last month or something like that. Yeah. It's just a comfort level. But I, yeah, I have no gauge of whether or not. It's, I don't know. I, it's all new. It's all new to me. So. Yeah, yeah. I know. I, I envy you this bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Instead of the two-year-old question time. Well, it's, no, not so, it's not so much that because you'll never be as good a parent as you are now. Yes. <laughs> Advice, this Mr. Is telling you, it's yes. absolutely the truth. Yes. Good luck with it. Lovely to see you. Thank you. And it's up to you, everybody. We'll be right back. If you're going to be in the Los Angeles area and would like to attend the taping of the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson, please call 323-570-0059 or visit llstickets.com. Uh, we in the studio audience uh, here, uh, I'm not in the studio, well, I'm sort of in the, look, we here in the studio <laughs> learned the gender of Anna's baby tonight. <laughs> but you didn't at home because we did the Tootsie Fruitsie swear flag over it. Tootsie Fruitsie, is that what you're going to use? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing that we can do that given the show's live, but we're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's lovely, though, seeing a young woman like that just on the edge of motherhood, isn't it? Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah, it kind thing, of, man. kind of knocks the cynicism right out of you a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, everybody. Good night.